VS Code will now automatically add at return JS doc tags when generating JS doc comments. In this TypeScript file, for example, say that we wanted to document the count function here. I'm just going to place my cursor at the start of it and then say slash star star to start a JS doc comment. You can see I have a suggestion here showing up. And if I accept the suggestion, VS Code will fill in this nice placeholder based on the function signature. So you can see the parameters values here. And then the new thing that's being added is this at returns JS doc tag. So what is happening behind the scenes is that the JavaScript and TypeScript support has looked at the function signature here. It sees this at this return statement inside the function body. So it is generating the at returns here. And this is going to let us actually describe what the function is returning. So I can go in here and say the count or something like that. Not a very good description, but just fill something out. And then if I actually hover over the uh, function signature here, or if I'm triggering IntelliSense, you can see I get this at returns here, and it's just uh, showing the description that we just filled in. Now this also works in JavaScript files. And if you don't like this new behavior, there is an easy way to disable it. So I'm gonna go in here and open my, up my settings with control comma or command comma on Mac. And I'm gonna say JS doc return. And I want the TypeScript suggest JS doc generate returns. You can see there's a separate setting for JavaScript as well. I'm just gonna dis disable this. And you can see that when I've disabled this, if I go back here and trigger the JS doc comment suggestion again, you can see that at returns is not automatically being filled in. Also keep in mind that at returns will never be inserted if the function does not have a return statement inside of it. So that's a quick look at how VS Code now adds at returns when generating JS doc comments.